According to sources, Antonio Martinez's contact with police in the courts in Maryland dates back to 2004, when he first faced various charges as a juvenile. He faced charges as an adult by 2006. According to case records, in February of that year, Martinez was charged with armed robbery, felony first-degree assault, and a handgun violation, all related to the holdup of a business in Montgomery County. Martinez was 16 at the time. The case was bumped down to juvenile court, sources say, where Martinez was put on probation and supervised through electronic monitoring. In 2007, sources say, Martinez faced new charges of felony theft in the juvenile system. Then, in 2008, he was charged twice as an adult. He was convicted of misdemeanor theft in March of 2008. Separate charges of car theft were dropped in May of 2008. Martinez now faces federal charges that could put him in prison for the rest of his life, the result of the FBI sting that broke up his alleged plot to blow up a military recruiting center in Catonsville. Martinez fashioned himself as waging jihad against the U.S. military for what he called the U.S. war against Islam. But there's little evidence he had the means on his own to carry it out. According to the federal affidavit in the case against him, Martinez said he had propane tanks but didn't know how to use them as explosives. The affidavit notes his concern about his criminal record and how it could keep him from buying a gun. He owned no cell phone until the last few weeks and didn't drive much, a real hurdle for someone plotting to be a car bomber. It was the undercover FBI agent involved in this sting who provided the vehicle along with an escape plan, a passport, and the fake bomb Martinez allegedly tried to detonate yesterday. The U.S. attorney said yesterday Martinez was determined to be a real threat by investigators and given plenty of room to act on his own without prompting by the FBI.